hey guys welcome back so in the last video we have written the code inside this list activity and created floating action button and created pop-up dialog to save the record so today we are going to write code inside this on create method where we will implement this recycler view and call the database method to get all the groceries so for that we will also create one method inside this database handler class so let's start so now let's write inside this uh, database handler class to get all grocery. Now let's create method public list of grocery and uh, method name will be get all grocery. Okay. Now inside this uh, declare SQLite database db is equal to this dot get readable database now list of a grocery grocery list is equal to new array list okay now now call the cursor cursor is equal to db dot query constants add the cursor 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 is equal to db dot query constants dot table name comma new string string array and uh, insert that uh, constants dot key id comma constants dot key key grocery item comma constants dot key quantity constants dot key date okay and now we have the table name we have a column the selection string will be null selection argument we also will be null group by will be null and order by will be also null and we will add one more argument constant dot key date plus desc descending order okay so we will show the last record first okay and okay so now if cursor dot move to first if there are some record inside the cursor then we will write a do while method do and while and inside while we will let cursor dot move to next we will move to the next record and inside the do we will call the grocery is equal to new grocery grocery dot set id integer dot parse int cursor dot get string and inside that cursor dot get column index and a column will be constants dot key id okay now we will set name grocery dot set name cursor dot get string now cursor 
dot get column index and inside that constants dot key grocery item and now for the quantity grocery dot set quantity cursor dot get string cursor dot get column index and constants dot key quantity okay so now for date we will convert the date into the readable format okay java dot text dot date format date format is equal to java dot text dot date format dot date format dot get date instance and now string format date is equal to date format dot format new date cursor dot get long and inside that cursor dot get column index constants dot key date and add semicolon and now add to the grocery grocery dot set date added and it will be format date okay and in the last grocery list dot add grocery and now we will return here the grocery list return grocery list okay so now let's go back to this list activity and write over here and okay so first db is equal to new database handler of this now recycler view is equal to find view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view id recycler view dot set as fixed size to group it will be of the fixed size of as much as the screen recycler view dot set layout manager or set layout manager and it will be new layout new linear layout manager and inside this pass this okay it means that the layout will be the this list activity screen and now grocery list is equal to new array list and list items is equal to new array list now grocery list is equal to db dot get all groceries now to get the groceries for grocery g colon grocery list and inside that grocery grocery is equal to new grocery grocery dot set name c dot get name g dot get name now grocery dot set quantity g dot get quantity and here we will add one text for quantity so we can note uh, that it is quantity okay uh, okay now grocery dot set id and 
id will be g dot get id and last grocery dot get date added and here we will add added on plus g dot get date added okay here it will be set date okay so now add this grocery to list items list items dot add grocery and now inside the recycler view adapter recycler view adapter is equal to new recycler view adapter and inside this pass this and list of grocery and it will be list items now recycler view dot set adapter and pass this recycler view adapter and now at recycler view adapter dot set notify data thing notify data set okay so now let's run and check whether it is running properly or not so let's add record name will be apple quantity will be 12 save and let's see the toast method added and record is added now click on edit button and edit quantity to 20 record is added now let's add another apple another record name will be test quantity will be 5 save record error. now let's delete this record so it worked properly ok so it worked properly we got the list inside this recycler view and we edited and deleted the record i have modified this android manifest.xml file and added this no action bar to the theme to make it proper so if you got stuck anywhere at the time of the development you can find the source code from the github and the link is in the description so in the next video on the click of the item view we will navigate to the next activity called the detail activity and we will show that particular record so see you guys in the next video please like share and don't forget to subscribe to Tech.